What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. And today we're taking a look at this knife right here. This is a knife that comes to me. I do think I know where this one's coming from, but I'm not entirely sure. It might be a Vosteed knife. So we're going to do the quick unboxing experience, share that with you all, kind of share my first thoughts, impressions on this knife right here. And so doing the honors today, we have the Vosteed Mini corgi or corgi pop this is a smaller version of the full-size vosti corgi it is a button lock with a back flipper and a front flipper too in the ultim scale this thing is a fidget fidget dream right here and also a good small size for everyday carry really been having a ton of fun carrying this one this knife and every other knife that you see in this video will be linked down below in the description so if you want to check out the availability prices variants all that stuff will be linked down below it does help out the channel when you use those links but that is entirely up to you. With that in mind, right, I know these packages have the Amazon strap, but hey, we are EDC guys, so we like to use our knives for unboxing. <laughs> and there it is, just as anticipated, we have a package from Amazon coming from Bosteed. We have the Mini Labrador lightweight packet, pocket knife, small folding knife, 2.73 inches, 14C, 28N blade with titanium handle. All right, let's check out this guy right here. All right, pretty lightweight. Of course, this one should be in the small knife category. Here's a nice little look at it. It is on the black stone wash blade. All right, so it's got the murdered out black aesthetics to it. Right, without further ado, let's make a quick incision right here, shall we? And let's open up the box, okay? We got the pouch right here from Bosteed. We have the Stay Sharp, Stay Wild warranty, right? 30 day full money back guarantee, right? How to maintenance the knife, all that good stuff. So if you wanna read through that, you're welcome to pause the video. All right, there you go and read through those. Uh, we got the zipper pouch here with a little Velcro section and a little pad right here that you can move around with the Bosteed logo. And inside the pouch, I got the Vosteed orange on black going on. Here is the knife itself. And aside from the knife, we have the Vosteed uh, wiping cloth, all right? Your usuals, right, as you're used to, as far as uh, what's in the box. Let's kind of make some room right here, shall we? For this uh, lens, right, to focus on the knife itself. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. First impressions, right, it is uh, definitely a smaller EDC. All right, kind of give her a nice little wipe right here, right? Got some excess oils going on. All right, check that out, all right? First things first, man, this, the, <laughs> if there's one thing that Bosti does very well is, you know, making a mini version of a larger version of any knife. So this is a, the mini version of the Labrador. There is, of course, a bigger version of the Labrador available. And uh, yeah, pretty good on the weight department, right? First impression, it has very elegant lines to it very nice fit and finish going on love that blacked out titanium stone wash blacked out titanium going on it looks like we have a flipper tab which is jimped so if you guys are ready i'm ready let's go ahead and open this thing bam take a look at that 14c 28n drop point blade flat grind loving it already right, plunge grind is way back here should be able to get some good sharp inside of this guy and yes, this is a brand new knife out of the box. Vosteed just sent it over. So again, shout out to Vosteed for the opportunity to check this one out here and share it with you guys in the channel. All right, small EDC. It is a frame lock. All right, very easy to move that frame out of the way. Oh, and I got to say the action is, action feels pretty good. All right, this guy is on ball bearings. Yes, indeed. I right, got a pretty decent detent right there. Nice and snappy. And flipper deployment is the only deployment option going on here, but it is very, very well executed, right? So brand new knife, it is a little bit of a shake shutter, right? Maybe drop shutty at some point, obviously as you get it broken in and whatnot. Let's give it a nice little wipe here on the blade, which is also nice and oil, right, for protection. 14C28N is already pretty corrosion resistant, but with this black coat, right, it should be even more. And yeah, good action right here. Ergonomically speaking, you know, it is a little bit over three and a half, right? Three and a half finger grip knife here. Uh, that flipper tab is going to work as your 
finger guard, if you would, right? no jimping on the tang of the blade. It is pretty narrow, so this thing should be a very, very good slicer. And again, the idea here is that this, this should be very, very carryable, right? You can toss this on your gym shorts, right? Backpack, whatever you want to carry your knife, right? Maybe as a primary or even as a secondary, right? It should be pretty, pretty lightweight. So let's see, no milling on the inside, right? That is how good it is. It's so lightweight. There's actually no milling done and it still feels like a pretty lightweight knife. So let's get a quick weight on this bad boy and then we'll do some size comparisons. But look at that, it comes in right at two ounces, right? Right at two ounces. For reference, the Ultim Corgi Pop, which does have stainless steel liners, comes in at 2.8, almost three ounces. But the Labrador Titanium comes in at 2.0, right? Two ounces total weight. For my friends across the pond, that is 55 grams. There you go. But yeah, really, really good weight. Obviously perfect for EDC, especially if you like a lighter knife overall, right? Very, very snappy, right? You can, I want to say, can you definitely light switching it? Works really good. Can you push button it? Yeah, you could do that too. Yeah, if you push button it or you light switch it, either way, it's going to be a very, very snappy open. We got the cutout for the lock bar on the outside. The pocket clip is on the lock bar side. It doesn't seem to be reversible. It is uh, pretty well aligned right there, smack in the middle. You guys be the judge. We are going to be testing the sharpness on this knife here in just a moment. Let's do some size comparisons, right? Here is the Bosteed Corgi Pop, another small form factor EDC. Oh, look at that. The Mini Labrador is a little bit of a dancer. Check them out, right? Look at the, look at them dance moves going on <laughs> right there. So uh, another small factor EDC from Bosteed, also in that blacked out aesthetics is the chipmunk and all of these are available also in other variations too so the mini labrador does have a bee blasted uh, titanium finish with uh, more of like a satin finish blade so definitely all of those will be linked down below right the corgi the chipmunk also has older g10 and satin blade combinations available right same thing with the mini corgi pop but yeah very small factor small form factor edc as you can see, all of these actually rank or stack up pretty well right there on that small EDC size, right? If you were to keep it in the Vostid family, but we were to, let's say, move things up a bit. Here's the Vostid Raccoon, very popular knife from Vostid, right? Very recommendable EDC knife. That is a uh, medium to large EDC knife. Here's another premium one, also in that blacked out aesthetics. That is the Dutch Hound. Dodge Hound right there, Titanium, and M390 Blade, right? Those are much bigger knives. So you can see that the Vosti Labrador, in my opinion, makes a great fifth pocket EDC knife, absolutely no doubt. I can't wait to carry it, because obviously I just received it, I just got it. Definitely gonna be carrying it as a secondary knife. And if, whatever the situation may be, if I really need a very light knife, it might, I might just carry it as my primary. That's sort of what I'm leaning towards, right? So yeah, Vosteed, yeah, gotta check them out. They have knives in every single category, budget, premium, small, medium, large, right? I'll even toss in one more here, one of my all time favorites, and that is the Vosteed RS Chaos, right? This is uh, my very own, got it for my birthday last year. It is an RS knife collaboration knife, and I love it, I love it. So you can see they have Pretty much a little bit of everything under the rainbow, as a matter of fact. So definitely can't go wrong with Vosteed. Can't recommend them enough. And right now, Vosteed is having a sale. I believe it's about 20% off. It's an Easter sale going on. So we are on the first week of April. I believe it lasts until April 8th. And the Labrador and the Dutch Hound, even the Chipmunk, is going to be available for that sale. 20% off. Again, everything will be link down below for you guys to check it out so let's just do some more of the usual knives right in case you know you own some other knives here uh not so much vosteed maybe you're new to vosteed here's the pm2 the pair of three right very typical very recommendable edc knives obviously it's in the name the mini labrador is going to be a mini version <laughs> of the labrador so you can expect to be a little bit smaller than some of the other guys here I'm going to show you the Denko 8020.5 and the Shark Cub. The Shark Cub being a little bit bigger than the Mini Labrador. Civivi Vision FG, very popular from last year. 
the Savivi Sentinel Strike, right? Sort of gives you an idea of the discrepancy of a small knife versus a full blown larger knife right there. And last but not least, here's the CJRB Pyrite, right? Which is a medium knife, right? Button lock. And then I want to toss in here, just because I have it and I'm checking it out right now, is the Benchmade Bug Out Mini. Right, another mini version of a full size knife, the Bug Out. Right, this one being coming in a little bit bigger than the mini Labrador. Okay, but you guys be the judge. Very similar drop point profile, right, at a much more affordable price, by the way. And again, it is on special right now, first week of April until the 8th of April, 20% off, right? Definitely worth checking out. So, by the time you're watching this video, I'm recording it on April 1st. So, happy April Fool's to everybody, by the way. And no, the, the sales event is not a joke, right? It's not an April Fool's joke. It just happens to be on the first. Definitely check it out. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best to upload this video today or tomorrow. So you will be seeing it during the week that the special is going on. If you're seeing this video in the future, chances are right there, there might be another special going on. So definitely always check those links down below, right? For details, for any sales specials going on, right? At the time you're watching the video. But yeah, this thing, if it's anything like any other frosted knife it's going to come very very sharp out of the box let's do a quick paper cutting test here shall we all right look at that wow look at that guys now this is a factory edge right and as you can see it is performing really really well gives you an idea what the sharpness is like coming out of the box yeah very very sharp indeed, right? And you do have a decent amount of blade right there as well, right? Not too short, not too long, right? Perfect for perfect for EDC tasks. And last but not least, let's do a quick single wall cardboard right here, all right? As usual, when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular, but rather at an angle. And it's gonna look something like this. Wow. <laughs> I don't think you can underestimate how, or understate, how sharp and how well it's cutting through the material. It is brand new, right? But yeah, it comes with a very savage, very sharp edge from the factory. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And with that black stone wash, after you're done doing your cuts, you give it a nice wipe and bam, look at that, right? It's very forgiving for things like scratches, you know, uh, wear and tear and things like that. So it's almost as if nothing happened, right? Also very minimalistic too on the billboarding department. It simply says 14C28N here and the Vosteed logo on the other side. The logo from, oh, just the Vosteed writing. The logo is very tiny in the pocket clip. I don't mind it at all. Right? You almost don't see it unless you pay very close attention. And yeah, very good access to the lock bar. You got a steel lock bar insert for steel on steel contact, which is obviously the preferred way to do a lock bar, right? Steel on steel contact is going to uh, be better for longevity than titanium on steel contact. And yeah, it comes nice and oil from the box. Very, very sharp. You guys rate it in the box. You guys rate it in the comments. How sharp is this guy out of the box on a scale from one through 10, right? Obviously 10 being the sharpest. Well, there you have it guys. That is the mini Labrador, right? Smaller version of the Labrador from Vosteed, 14C 28 and steel, right? This version has the blacked out blade with the titanium also blacked out. There is a version with a, I believe, satin finish or stone wash finish on the blade and a bee blasted titanium if that's more your preference. Right? I like both as a matter of fact, and perhaps a little bit maybe lean more towards the bee blasted titanium a little bit more, but I really dig this blacked out one. Ergonomically feels really good. It is a little bit of, uh, again, I have average hands, not the biggest or smallest of hands. We're able to get a good three and a half, almost three and three quarter finger, finger grip on this bad boy it is a mini knife so maybe the pinch grip might be more your style with this you know small factor edc whatever local laws are more strict right this might be definitely an option to consider depending on what your maximum blade length will be again this guy is on special right on sale right now given the vastid promotional sale going on the easter um last week of march and basically the first week of april going all the way until april 8th so definitely check it out below 20 percent discounted coming in at a pretty decent pretty good price um so if you're interested if you want to check it out right you can definitely find it in the links below it does help out the channel when you purchase a knife through those links but that's entirely up to you and absolutely zero extra cost 
Again, shout out to Vossleed for sending in the mini Labrador for me to check it out, share with you guys. This is not a review. This is just a unboxing experience, right? First impressions video. You guys saw the drill. I'm going to carry this knife for the next a uh, couple of weeks try to gather as much feedback as i possibly can and then come back to you with a comprehensive review going over the good about the, the ugly and everything else there is to know about this knife so definitely if you're not subscribed this will be a great time to do so smash that like button if you haven't already it really helps the video with the youtube algorithm reach a larger audience and if you want to support the channel a step further there's a link for patreon down below or you can simply support the channel right here on youtube and you'll get access to exclusive perks that being said, guys, let me know what do you want to know about this knife for the review. What questions do you have? Things that you want me to consider for the review video. I'll be happy to take that into consideration for when I record that video here in the future. By the way, check out the unboxing video on the Vosteed Corgi Pop. I'm going to put a card for that one right here on the left. Or if you want to check out the unboxing on the Vosteed Chipmunk, right? I'm going to put a card for that one right here for you guys to watch that one as well. Either one, right? Both are also very sweet, small factor EDC knives. You should definitely check out. If you made it to the very end, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here until the end. I appreciate and love every single one of you. Guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next upload. Peace.